Zero and his people coming down off the escalator. Everybody else that's with Trey, we all already downstairs. We already downstairs in the lobby. Now, you, you know, it's funny because, you know, I, I, your thoughts, I feel, is the most important. Everyone we ask this question to about Trey and Zero's situation and what spilled from bygone era to what happened on Tycoon Weekend. Um, should we have seen that happen like that, first and foremost? Nah, it should have never got like that. Do you nah. feel it was leading to that? It had been like that since uh it had been like that since 2011, 2012. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, ABN had been broke up. Uh another story with uh Mr. Lucci. <clears throat> so Lucci calls me and he said, Hey, uh, how much does Trey uh charge? You know, at the time, I'm an ABN, so shit, I'm with the nigga like every fucking week, every yeah. goddamn month, just all the goddamn time. So I call him. Tell him, hey, man, it's my partner, this, 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 this. He say, okay, cool. Uh, just give him my number, tell him to get in me. But Lucha like, shit, nigga, I don't got to go through you. I got the money. He, you know, Lou was want to do it his way. Yeah. Cool. You know what I'm saying? No hard feelings. So, uh, like I said, everybody already split. ABN is already split. Lucha calls me back and tells me that he booked zero. He called me back and tells me that he booked Trey. And I'm like, okay, that's what's up. And he was like, they finna perform together. I'm like, no, the fuck we not. He was like, yeah, 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 I booked ABN, the group. I'm like, bro, we're not finna perform together at all. i like, the whole group, ABN, we're not finna perform together. None whatsoever. He was like, yes, we is. Yes, y'all live, man. I paid like 25000 I was like, okay. So that night happens. It said, uh, uh, what was that? At Club... Uh, the one that Fredo owned, uh, uh, Rhythm City, not Rhythm City, the other one, the other one, uh, the other one that North Dallas, off thirty five, and uh, no, it was right there. It was right there by Mr. Uh, B. It was, it was right yeah. there by Beamers. Uh, oh, across you from Beamers. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, flow, flow, flow. Okay, so he booked everybody. All right. Everybody coming. He done booked the rooms at the same hotel. I'm going to tell you how fucked up it was. It's so fucked up that Zero and his people coming down off the escalator. Everybody else that's with Trey, we all already downstairs. We already downstairs in the lobby. So the shit friction so bad to where when they coming off the escalator, we basically taking off our jewelry and shit. People putting their chains up and shit. We think we finna fight. And we, we think we finna scratch right here in the middle of the goddamn hotel. Cause they hadn't already ran across each other in a while. Mm. We think we finna scratch right here. Then nobody scratch, then nobody get into it, then no words get said. Boom. Uh, Zero and his people go that way. Trey and other people, we all go this way. All right, next thing you know, get to the club. They say, who gonna perform? What time y'all going on? I tell Lucci, we're not going on together, bro. <laughs> I told you that. He go over there. He go send somebody to go talk to Trey. <clears throat> he send somebody to talk to Zero. He get mad. We don't go on together. Zero go on. Then Trey and the rest of ABN go on. He upset. And I paid all this money for this, all this money for that. I said, fam, I told you we weren't going to go on together. I told you we already wasn't seeing eye to eye. That shit was from way back then. That shit, is never, that shit was never about no, 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 nobody going to no jail or no shit like this. Shit was behind a chick. Mm. And it wasn't about, it wasn't about, it wasn't Zero and Trey beef behind the chick. You know what I'm saying? RIP clip, uh, it was Trey best friend. Him and Zero had words behind the chick. And it had got to the point to where somebody pulled a gun on somebody. Or pretty much somebody pulled up 
then the gun got shown. After that, you know, ain't no more conversation when no guns get shown. The shit done, we can't talk it out no more. You know what I'm saying? Plus, like the shit with j and shit like that, man, both of them niggas went to jail, fam. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, he said it, yeah. It's like, both of them went to jail. Went to jail. You know what I'm saying? So, and j wasn't tripping on it at first. When everybody was still ABM, who's out click tight, j didn't say shit about no, uh, uh, zero owed me, when he get out of jail, we got to scratch. Man, it wasn't even like that. It was never like that. Never like that at all. So again, I get on a lie detector test. You niggas prove me as I'm lying. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Somebody gonna want to come talk about this, Trey. Right. J Ton. Somebody gonna want to come talk about it. So do you feel like something escalated it to that in the midst of what happened right then and there, or do you feel like that was that was gonna happen? That was gonna happen sooner or later because they had been going back and forth. Right. It was a little sneak disses here, a little sneak disses there. They had been going back and forth. You know what I'm saying? That got to the point to where shit, they didn't want to be on the same shows. They didn't even want to be around the same people. You know what I'm saying? So after a while, it just got to the point where it was messy. And when it got messy, you know, Ro just really went his way. And everybody else from ABN just shit really went our way. And it wasn't even no hard feelings except for that one incident. I ain't going to get all the way into it. I'll probably get into it another time and tell y'all everything about it. I'll see y'all again in the street stores or something. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Real Street Stars, nigga. Moolah. Hey.